Welcome back. It's good to be back with you again as we continue exploring the wealth and riches in God's Word that allows us to grow with Him and in Him, to grow tall as Jesus continues to help us grow as His dear child. Thank you for being with, with uh, me once again on this. Our passage for today comes from Psalm 147, 1 to 11. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paul Wendt. Uh, I'm the Director of Christian Education at St. John's Lutheran Church in Kendallville. Our passage begins this way. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to, God, to our God, for it is pleasant and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. It's good to praise God. Why? God made us. He loves us. We have new life in Jesus Christ, our Savior and God's only Son. Jesus, who died for us, who rose again, who is present with us now. Our loving God is a God of outcasts, people on the edges. Our loving God is a God of the brokenhearted, a healer of the wounds of the brokenhearted. So not only is God with us, but he desires to deal with our day-to-day -day lives. How many of us haven't experienced being brokenhearted? We have a God that binds up our broken hearts. As God's people, the Spirit works in and through us to bring us welcome as his people, to bring healing to us and through us works to welcome others and to bring healing to others. We do this as God's people with one another as we follow in Jesus' footsteps, as we walk with him, as we grow with him. And we also do this as God's people to those who come across our paths, to those that he sends around us. And for that, we praise him. We do praise God. Our passage goes on. He determines the number of stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord, and abundant is in power. His understanding is beyond measure. No human being knows how many stars exist. Every time we build a bigger telescope, we see more. There are billions of galaxies which contain billions of stars. And I don't know about you, but when numbers start getting to be billions times billions, the number just defies my limited ability to understand. It defies imagination. And yet our God, who knows each of us, by name, knows how many stars there are, and he's named them all. Wow. Are we more precious to God than giant balls of burning gas? Absolutely. Absolutely. God's understanding has no limit. God's power has no limit. When our world seems to be falling apart, it's not a surprise to God. God the Father knows all about it before it ever happens. And God the Father can and does turn all things, even bad things, to the good of his people to the building up of his kingdom, and to the glory of his name. God certainly is not the cause of evil. God is good. 
God does not cause riots and destruction. God does not cause wars. God does not cause sickness and death. We are living in a broken world. And the truth is, we broke it. The truth is, we have that brokenness living inside of us. We rebelled. God the Father sets limits on evil. But in his wisdom, he does not eliminate it. Why? To support the salvation of those who will come to faith in Christ Jesus. I don't get all of that. I can't figure it out. How about you? It's all beyond our understanding. And yet this is what God's word declares. That he allows a certain amount of evil in order that those who would be saved are saved. That not one is missing. Not one. Powerful. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. Our Lord and Savior lifts us up. In his time, in his way, God the Father deals with the wicked. All of this is part of his larger purpose to bring salvation in, in Jesus Christ to the world. We can stand firm and rest in the promise that he lifts us up. He supports us. He does not abandon us. He's always with us. And we can trust that he will, in his time, deal with the evil, the wicked, all of these things that trouble us now. Amazing. Amazing. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. We can rejoice. We can praise God all in response to all that God does for us in Christ Jesus. He's taken away our rebellion. When he sees us, we are perfect because Jesus lives in us and he sees that perfection. He has given us new life in Christ that begins now and goes on forever into eternity where there is no more suffering, there is no more chaos, there is no more death, no more riots, no more destruction, no more disease, no more hunger, no more pain, no more prejudice, no more racism, none of it. Simply incredible joy at being in the presence of the God who made us and loves us. That's why we can sing. That's why we can make melody. Because of all that God does for us. Our psalm goes on. He covers the earth with clouds. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the beasts their food and to the young ravens that cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. What do we see here? God graciously provides all that is needed for daily living. He's concerned about the birds. Most of us, not so much. He's concerned about all living things. And we're far more precious in his sight than all of them. Those things that may bring delight to us, strength, and ability, and worldly leadership, and the power to influence lives, and pleasure in various ways, and possessions, all of that stuff, they don't bring delight to God. What brings delight to him? People who revere him and hope in his unchanging love. That's what brings delight to God. This is who we are as God's people. 
we live out of this hope that we have in Christ. Other people see us living in that sure hope of heaven. And, the, and for some, the Holy Spirit uses that. And, and they wonder, huh, what is different about them? Why do they react differently than I do? Especially in those times of struggle and distress, we pray for that grace of God to live as his peaceful and joy-filled people in those times as a witness to those around us. Ultimately, we praise God. We praise God in the good times. We praise God in the bad times. We praise God in the in-between, ho-hum, boring times. We praise God. That's what we do. As his people, we trust that all that happens in this world is known to God. You know, the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him. And that's part of what fearing him means, is that we trust that God knows that I'm not alone, I'm not abandoned, I'm not forsaken. God knows. As God's people, we trust that God is at work able to even transform great evil acts by people into good things for his people and his kingdom. The Lord takes pleasure in those who hope in his steadfast love, right? As God's people, we trust that God truly does love us all the time. This is what we have to share. We know that in part, the Lord has gathered us together as his people so that more people will hear about his great love for them in Christ Jesus, to reach all with Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you and we glorify your name, that you are with us, that you bind us up when we are brokenhearted, that when we feel like we're left out and on the edges, you draw us in. You care about all the intricate details of our daily life. Fill us with your grace and your love and your peace and your joy and help us to share that with all in our lives. And we pray that the spirit working through us may reach out with the good news of Jesus Christ so that many more may come to know him as Lord and Savior. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. If this has been helpful, please feel free to share it. Um, need to pray, need to talk, need some spiritual care, we'd love to do that. Contact us at St. John's in Kendallville. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can do that at sjlc.net on the web in the contact tab. We pray that these devotional times are times that are helpful to you, that help you grow in uh, the one true faith and help you stay deeply connected with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks for being with me. Till next time.